In this video, we will explore one example of how a Spark1 researcher has utilized the multi-resolution image segmentation strategies MBF Bioscience software can provide. This is the segmentation workflow that the John Hopkins lab at UCLA has used to understand the structure function relationships of cells within the stellate ganglion. Their lab has backfilled cells with the stellate ganglion and recorded electrophysiology data for that cell. Next, they image the cells using an epifluorescence microscope at 40x to easily distinguish the neuronal pathways. They segmented the neuronal structures in the high-resolution image using Neurolusa 360 semi-automatic tracing mode until all relevant structures in the image were represented. The Tompkins lab additionally imaged the whole stellate ganglion in 3D at 10x magnification. To put the backfield cells into perspective, the high-resolution neuronal reconstruction was registered with a 10x image of the entire stellate by moving the tracing in the x, y, and z directions until it aligned with the low-resolution stellate image volume. Using the FAIR vocabularies in Neurolusa 360, the stellate structure from the low-resolution image was contoured on a series of 2D planes for a set interval. A surface can be created on these contours in the 3D window to represent the volume of the whole ganglia in the data file. Additional structures such as the cardiac nerve were segmented to provide fiducial landmarks. You can visualize the axons of the yellow and pink cells innervating the cardiac nerve. By labeling the cells with the cell ID from the electrophysiological recording, the lab was able to link the physiological and morphological data to analyze the structure function relationship of the cells. This data file can be used to enrich the generic stellate scaffold with fiducial information, and the morphological and physiological data can be registered to a stellate scaffold for visualization on the Spark data portal. 